Um, it's always funny what grabs your attention. I just saw it. I just, I, <laughs> I, just we, saw we it. like I shiny things. Disco balls on I your love feet. Them. Yeah. Shiny things. Yeah, yeah shiny it. things. It's not like I usually get distracted by things. <laughs> um, all right, speaking of, speaking of getting distracted, a lot, of, a lot of people kind of stop what they're doing and are focusing on City Hall right now. This proposed budget is wild, potentially a 16.5% property, property tax hike mm -hmm. in English. So th now the 6.5% on top of the 105 according to the city, is for new uh, people to the city of Toronto who need a place to live. And they're saying to the federal government, you got to come in and help us. Yvonne Baker, MP for Etobicoke Centre, he kind of did the media rounds yesterday on behalf of the federal government. And let's just say that argument's not flying. Listen to this. For Olivia Chow to go out there, or some councillors to go out there and suggest that the, the Toronto MPs aren't fighting for Toronto or aren't delivering, or the federal government's not delivering, is an outright lie. Okay, so everyone's heels, to continue the boot theme here, are being dug in. It's a serious issue. It needs to be dealt with. Uh, but, but the city are taking a pretty hard stance here on the feds. My question to both of you, because mm -hmm. there's a lot of questions here, but I'm going to focus on the practicality of this. Is this going to work with this liberal federal government? Is this a smart thing to do? <laughs> Who as, wants to as jump as in? No, but, but I think we're both kind of feeling the same vibe, where it's like we feel like we're getting a raw deal, and I don't think we're going to get any relief or help. I, that's, that's what I'm feeling. But there was talk that feds, provincial, was going to help the city. Where did that go, Mayor? Yeah, I mean, we, we talked about the deal that was done with the province, and I think that we, you know, there was some, a lot of good good things that were done there in terms of moving that discussion along and helping the residents of Toronto that have, are really um, in, a, in a difficult way right now. Clearly there's a gap still, and so they're looking to fill it and requiring some assistance from the federal government. Also then, if that doesn't happen, that play doesn't work, the reality of a 16% property tax hike as a homeowner in this city and renters in this city, mm -hmm. it's just, it, it's not possible. Like, I, I don't know where that's gonna go. And it feels challenging to me that it's almost being played out. Yeah. Like, okay, this isn't gonna work over here. Okay, let's get it over here. And they're saying, well, you're not gonna get it over here. So ergo facto, that means we're gonna get it mm -hmm. here. And I, I literally physically don't know how that's gonna work for so many residents here in the city. I don't know. I don't know. When I first heard these extra numbers, I started preparing myself. I started looking at my budget and saying, "You're not the only one." I'm man. going to, I got a lot and, of and when I and that's and I'm with you. Like a lot of people are like, "Okay, we," I don't think we're going to get the relief, unfortunately, because the way this is playing out publicly, you're you're not going to see. There's certain people that are going to back down, and certain that, and I think the city is the ones who are going to get screwed. To be honest with you, and I mean, how did the city get in this spot? That there was this much of a gap to be filled. Mm -hmm. That's my question. How did we get to this moment? where this is the discussion, both in being transparent with the, the, the residents, mm -hmm. but also having some discussions internally within government to not get to this point. I mean, look, in, in terms of the actual practicality of the 10.5% property tax hike, you want to go back to most of John Tory's tenure or, or the late Rob Ford or David Miller. You want to, we can go back the whole way. And just, it, just the, the normal price of inflation was used, no problem. We'll just go a little bit up. Yep. No one gets dinged that bad. Mayor Tory in the last budget, last, last year, 5.5%, like, and that one freaked people out. And I remember him being on the show, and I said, Mayor Tory, like, you know I love you, but what the hell, man? Yeah. <laughs> like, this isn't cool. Yeah. And but now? It, just, there, it was a lot of kick in the can down the road on this. Mm -hmm. And there's a part of me that doesn't understand Mayor Chow's philosophy of we got to deal with this. But based on what, what that the clip was from uh, Yvonne Baker yesterday, mm -hmm. he, this is how politics work. He was sent to every media outlet yesterday by the prime minister... That's how that works, to say this isn't happening, move on to the next thing. You're not going to threaten the federal government. Mayor Chow believes with 20-some-odd seats in the next election that they're going to get everything they want from Justin Trudeau. That's not what I heard yesterday. So I don't know where the mayor's going to go with this. She's going to have political egg on her face if this doesn't go her way. Mm -hmm. I, think it's a, I think it's a very poor tactic that has to get negotiated. And if you can't negotiate it, then stop scaring the people of Toronto and, and, make, and giving them sleepless nights on this number. Because I think that's, that's, way, that's outrageous to even put out there if you're not serious about it. We'll see where this goes. The public consultations continue tonight and tomorrow, 7 p.m., by phone. Let the city know. You have an opinion? You live in Toronto? I'm sure you do. Let the city know. All right.